Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. The Link chart is still in the same situation, really um, quite boring, so we can keep it short and sweet today. Um, still consolidating below a trend line, still in a local downtrend here, which started on the 10th of March. So the move up can be considered a five wave pattern. The move down can be considered a corrective pattern, especially as long as the price does not break below the $6.90 level. That's the 78.6 retracement of the initial increase of the initial advance. And I call that a five wave pattern. The move down as I said, would correct that increase, that impulse. Please be aware that a third wave rally, which should be next after this so-called one, two setup should drive the price into the $90 region if conditions remain favorable, as long as support levels are holding. And that could be a bit of an alt season altcoin rally, but of course, this is only a potential. There's no guarantee until we see further evidence for that from a price point of view. But if it starts the third wave, it would ideally start from this particular price region here, which I have labeled as a support zone for wave two. Looking at the one hour time frame, the wave structure itself unchanged. Two bearish counts still available. Uh, again, it doesn't matter to me if I call that here yellow wave B or white wave four. The reason why I call it separately out as a, as a B wave rally on the link chart, um, I'm not doing that on many other charts, but the reason here is that if it's the white scenario, then this last rally that started on the 13th of April, it is a wave four rally, which is an ABC structure that could also be a B wave. And yeah, well, why not leave it as a wave four? Well, it could be a wave four, but it's a bit too aggressive for a wave four can't rule it out you know it's a bit you know we'll see for now it doesn't matter if it's a b wave rally or a wave four especially not as long as we're holding support so the $12.75 level is the invalidation point for the directly bullish scenario of course it's possible that the price bottom there we reach the yellow support zone there for the first time that was here on the 13th of april then again touched it several times around the 17th and 18th of April. But, you know, from there, a third wave rally should really unfold now, reach like minimally $16.47, better $16.97, but we haven't seen that yet, okay? It's possible, but only as a diagonal pattern. Link is very slow at the moment and um, rejected, got rejected from that key resistance area that I mentioned, especially here, the one-to-one -one ratio. $15.69, really, really important um, resistance for the bearish count, short-term bearish, because in all of these scenarios, I'm tracking bullish, a bullish count. And the only question is how deep is the pullback going to be that the market actually is offering us? And in the um, yellow count, yeah, we're coming down further. And also in the white count, we're coming down further, would test $10.65. So that's possible. There's just... The main question for a trader is where do the pro um, the probabilities shift from the blue count, which is possible to the white count or yellow count, which first needs to break support to prove itself? Well, it would be if we consider the blue count as a diagonal, then the, the support zone for the B wave pullback, it's here, it's between $13.39 and $14.32. So if we break below this micro, it's really a micro support zone uh, and sustain there, this is not an invalidation point, but it's a key support area. If we break and sustain below 1339, that would indicate strongly that we are heading to the downside. A brief break and reversal is not a problem. The formal invalidation point would be here, $12.75. That is when I would need to reinterpret the structure, but it would also shift probabilities towards white or yellow. So 1339 is the first key level to watch. Below that level, 1275, that's the invalidation point for the blue microstructure as it is. That would clearly shift probabilities towards one more low. But at the moment, it's actually holding quite well. And we've seen only three waves down. That keeps the door open for the blue scenario. That's my update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching.
Bye-bye.